more about it. We'll bring in CNBC contributor Alex Kantrowitz to the conversation. He's founder of Big Technology, along with our own Deirdre Bosa. And Deirdre, you've been looking into the WeChat angle, which, which has been dragged into this. And with today's ban on WeChat starting, what, on Sunday? Yeah. What are the implications here? Well, I would say that the implications aren't as severe as some were worried about. Many American businesses, Apple, Google, their app stores would be severely, severely impacted if this ban applied to their business overseas, particularly, of course, in China. The fact that it only covers the U.S. is less of a blow, particularly to WeChat, because there's about 19 million downloads versus 1.2 billion downloads over in China. What that essentially means is that Big multinational businesses, including Apple and Google, Starbucks, McDonald's, Disney, they can continue to operate as is because many of them operate these apps outside of the United States. It's important to their China business. What it means for small and medium sized American businesses, though, that remains to be seen. But that could be a bigger problem because a lot of the small businesses that sell their products on places like Etsy and even Amazon and other e-commerce platforms, they rely on these supply chain links to China. Many of them, many businesses. Businesses, transactions, communication, logistics. A lot of that is done through WeChat, guys. Um, Alex, how long would a ban uh, have to be in place uh, on TikTok for it to be lasting uh, damage uh, and see those users shift across to, to another platform? And which platform would, would stand to benefit the most? I think you could already see lasting damage right now. I mean, I was looking through TikTok right before the segment and you hit the hashtag Instagram and you see tons of influencers there sending their followers to Instagram saying, hey, we don't know what's going to happen, but we want to keep communicating to you. So why don't you go follow our accounts on Instagram and on YouTube? So I think that's really what you're seeing is we know that a ban itself doesn't necessarily mean uh, that, that the idea of a ban, um, we don't need a ban in order to harm TikTok, that just the idea of it can actually cause some serious damage. And I think we're seeing that already. Alex, as, as far as guys, I would a say precedent, that. do you do you buy that? Oh, go ahead, Deirdre. Go ahead. Well, I was just going to respond to that. I would say perhaps for its competitors and in Instagram Reels, there may be some short-term benefit. They may get some of those TikTok users on their platform. But we heard once again from Instagram CEO this morning, Adam Masarian. He reiterated that a ban on TikTok is not good for anyone. It's not good for Instagram. It's not, certainly not good for Facebook, which has global operations, because what it leads to is a sort of dual track or bifurcated internet where you have the Chinese internet, perhaps the Western internet. And in the long term, that's not good for any global business. So I think that these effects are extremely short term. And even the companies that it benefits tell you that it's not good for everyone at large or the internet at large.